show you something really new, our latest prototype of the UWB physical lighter. And to help you with that, I'd like to ask Evan Green from our wireless lab, a researcher in our wireless lab, to come up here and show us what we've got. Evan, welcome. Thank you, Kevin. Glad to be here. So, what is it that uh, we have today? I understand this is actually a first of some uh, note from uh, both the Japanese perspective and the worldwide perspective. Yeah, That's yeah, right. Yes, we're very proud that uh, this is the very first uh, ultra-wideband system to be licensed uh, in Japan. We have an experimental license for this uh, transmitter that was uh, obtained this week uh, from the uh, government regulators. Well, we certainly thank the assistance of the government regulators here in Japan for allowing us to share it with yes. everyone. Yes, a very exciting time. It's also the uh, very first uh, demonstration, public demonstration of uh, 250 megabits per second uh, over all four men radio, too. So it's a very exciting time. So back first in Japan and first at this speed. Yes, yes, sir. Yes. All right, well. So what do we have here on this, uh, this screen on the left? What we have here is uh, a spectrum analyzer uh, showing what the transmitted signal looks like. This is the uh, transmitter emitting 250 megabits per second. And if you look at the spectrum analyzer, you can see there are six subbands. Uh, each one carrying about uh, 42 megabits per second. Uh, we have an idea, our idea is that, that this is a very uh, flexible system and that we can uh, turn up these subbands on and off to uh, adapt to regulatory or uh, situations where we have other radios in, in proximity. So what we have here is uh, signals being transmitted uh, from the transmitter and they're propagating over the air to the receiver. This is uh, right out of the laboratory. We, we, we brought it directly from the laboratory. So, so this, this I take is the antenna? Yes, yes. So, so can I anticipate that my laptops are going to come with that cute, sort of fashionable antenna in the future? If, if you like. Uh, this is a calibrated antenna that we use in the lab, and so uh, we, we, we take it along with us. But, but there are other antennas that are much smaller. Well, that, that's for sure. Yes. Uh, what we have here is uh, the receiver receiving the signal, and then on the uh, PC display here, we're showing each of the subbands and their performance is being stepped through and tested. We have on the, the blue bar here is the, uh, the throughput uh, for each subband, and then the red bar is the current error rate. So if you block the, uh, the view of the antennas here, you'll see that the error rate will jump up and then and go back down. And then at the very bottom here, we're showing the, uh, the total throughput. Uh, we're transmitting 252 megabits per second and receiving uh, 221 without error. So straight out of the lab, we're getting 220 out of 250. Yeah. So does it mean if I bring you back here to the next IDF, you'll be able to show me more than 250? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> well, that's great. great. Evan, thanks a lot. It's really great to see this first demonstration of this both here in Japan and certainly first in the world at this speed. My pleasure.